Your thyroid can do it. That's right. Believe it or not, an overactive thyroid could make you feel warmer than you should feel. I'm talking feeling warm, um, feeling sweaty, feeling hot. That's right. And I've actually had patients that have come to me over the years. One of their initial symptoms was just always being sweaty and hot. We checked a thyroid and it turned out to be overactive. This is something that's real. Now, oftentimes people with an overactive thyroid have other symptoms as well. Uh, but feeling warm, feeling sweaty and just always like hot and flushed could be one of those symptoms. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. I am telling you, um, usual and unusual causes of feeling warm all the time. If this is a video for you, if you feel warm all the time, uh, make sure you watch to the end because I got a lot of things you just might or might not expect. All right, let's move on to food. So just like the thyroid, by the way, the thyroid's like the engine of the body, food can also make you feel warmer than you should, okay? Um, food is not necessarily benign in this category. So spicy foods. Have you noticed that when you eat spicy foods, you start feeling kind of warm? Well, yes, it can actually do this. Also, caffeine. Caffeine could be your culprit. If you're always feeling warm, maybe check the amount of caffeine that you're drinking or eating. Maybe if you've got caffeine in some of the foods that you're eating or how much you're taking in that could cause you to feel warm as well. Now let's move on to something that I don't think surprises anyone. That is menopause. Yes, ladies, I know you know about menopause and the almighty hot flash, right? The brief sort of bursts of heat that come I know many friends and family members who literally carry around fans with them because they get uh, they start to flash in. Um, hot flashes, of course, menopause symptoms or even perimenopausal symptoms can cause you to feel warmer than uh, you probably should. Um, also, uh, yes, hot weather. I know you're going to say, well, Dr. Jen, of course, we know that hot weather is going to make you feel warm. And yes, it can make you feel warm. But not being acclimated to hot weather can really make you feel super hot, unusually hot, unable to cool off the way you'd like to. So in other words, if you're not used to hot weather, it can be particularly harder on you maybe than someone else who is acclimated to hot weather already. Um, the other thing is too, if you have certain underlying conditions, it could actually make it more difficult for your body to sort of deal with heat and minimize heat when say the ambient temperature gets warmer, etc. So let me give you some examples. Um, sometimes people with neurological conditions or conditions like Parkinson's or even sometimes heart conditions, um, those conditions sometimes can actually affect your ability, uh, your body's ability to sort of get rid of heat so that when you get hot, you may actually get hotter than maybe another person. So keep in mind that underlying conditions can make you feel hot. Medication sometimes can, can exacerbate a feeling of heat as well. Now, something else I'll tell you too, and this is going to sound like, well, duh, Dr. Jim, but I got to say it is, look, if you're someone who always feels hot, you, you should take a look at how you dress and and, and 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 how you dress in the environments that you're in. And I say this with, with no jokes, okay, quite honestly. If you find yourself sweating at nighttime, you want to make sure that you're not sleeping under too heavy covers or sleeping in too warm of things or keeping the thermostat on too high. Same thing as like when you go out and about, take stock of how you're dressing and sort of your environmental factors that may be playing a role into why you are feeling so warm. Uh, another thing, as we age, interestingly enough, our cooling system, our body's cooling system does not work as well uh, as it tends to do when we are younger. So sometimes this inability to cool off, like always feeling warm, sometimes can happen as we age, okay? Um, a few other things, um, exercising, obviously we know about that. Um, also not drinking enough water, right? Not staying hydrated could cause us to feel warmer uh, than we want to. The idea here, guys, is that if you are always hot, you're always sweaty, you're always like, oh my gosh, it's so hot. You know, this is a sign not to ignore. You really want to not only think about your environment, how you dress, where you are, your thermostat, all that good stuff, but you also may want to talk to your doctor if this is not going away because it could be a sign of an underlying medical condition, whether it's your thyroid or something else. Guys, I've, I've, I've diagnosed a number of people over the years with uh, hyperthyroidism, one of the symptoms they've had being uh, always feeling hot, sweaty, and flushed. So guys, I hope this is helpful. Let me know in the comments if you uh, often feel hot or warm. Um, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert, and video creator. Guys, please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell for updates. Also, consider joining my subscription groups as well. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I will see you soon.